Welcome back, guys, to our playthrough of Pokemon Fire Red. The first thing that I want to do is correct myself. I said something that was inaccurate in the last episode. I had said that when you arrive in Pallet Town and you capture 60 Pokemon, or have already captured 60 Pokemon, you are met by your rival. I was incorrect. I misread something, and I thought that's what it was saying, is that Gary would meet you here at your house rather than Professor Oak, but that's not what that means. Um, it doesn't really matter what I meant, but uh, that doesn't happen. It's always going to be Professor Oak. However, that does bring us to what the objective is for today's episode and our playthrough. So as of right now, I believe we have what? How many? 46 Pokemon. That means we have 14 more that we have to catch in order to get, I believe, the National Pokedex, right? Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go and just uh, do that. We're going to spend some time doing some cleanup and doing what, do, doing what we should be doing best, and that is catching actual Pokemon. Funny thing is, is we've evolved quite a few and caught some others, but for the most part, we haven't really been diligent about catching. This should be easy. We should probably go and grab a few more Ultra Balls, I think. Most of the Pokemon that I want to catch that should be, like, super quick um, can be caught very easily with the Ultra Balls. So, actually, if we can catch everything with a single throw, that'd be fantastic. Perfect. Rattata, mouse Pokemon. Its fangs are long and very sharp. They grow continuously, so it gnaws on hard things to whittle them down. Okay. All right, little mouse. Get in the box. We don't need you for anything. Okay, this tall grass doesn't really offer us any additional Pokemon. It's just Rattata and Pidgey. We've got both now. Pidgey all the way evolved. Don't really care to evolve Rat Rattata, so not going to do that. We probably have more time. Uh, save, some, save some time, rather, if we just caught a bunch of Pokemon and then moved on. Let's see, where do I want to go? If we go to the route to the west, there should be a patch of grass. You know what? We should be also catching some water Pokemon as well. I'm not sure what's here. Let's find out. We haven't done any fishing since we uh, got these rods. Okay, what do we got here? Poliwag. All right. I should probably have Raichu out front so we can paralyze everything to make catching easier. I'm going to see if we can try our luck with another Ultra Ball. Ooh. We're on a hot streak. Hot, I say. Hot, 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 hot. Poliwag's data was added to the Pokedex. Tadpole Pokemon. Its slick black skin is thin and damp. Doesn't look thin, black to me. A part of its internal organs can be seen through the skin as a spiral pattern. That's its organs. I didn't know that. Lay gross. You know, we don't really do much with Poliwag, which is unfortunate. But uh, Poliwrath is actually a really great Pokemon that I do like a lot. The fighting water type is a great dual combo. Yeah. I must have dozed off in the sun. I had this weird dream about a drowsy eating my dream, and I learned how to eat dreams. Ugh, this is too spooky. Let me teach it to a Pokemon so I can forget about it. Yeah, that's good. It's fine. There's a patch of grass over here that should have a couple of Pokemon that we don't have. Nidorans, maybe? I don't remember exactly. A Mankey, that's new. Level 5. Dang, we could have got a Mankey that early? No. Could we have? Yeah, we could have came here and got a Mankey. I didn't even realize that. Fighting type would have been really great to have. All right, Mank. Oh, wait, no, we already have one. Never mind. Hmm, where'd I get that idea? Another Rattata? Come on, give me something that we don't have already. And I think we can go after that to Viridian Forest. Grab a couple of bugs. There's a handful in there. We can at least knock out four Caterpie Metapod. Kakuna and Weedle. Alright, we're not going to see anything new in here. Thought we would, but we apparently will not. I'm just going to dip. I don't really care about what's in this area. Actually, I did say this. I want to put uh, Raichu out front just in case we have to get a little paralyzation situation out here. Thank you, Rai.
And then we didn't get flash either. Let's grab this thing. Okay. Um, if we go here, where is it? Is it in this spot? I think flash is here. We don't actually need it for anything. Only for rock tunnel, I think. Unless, does Cerulean Cave have that? Uh, have a need for that? It might, I don't remember. Cool. Take all this stuff. Actually, wait. Nope, that's the rod. Hmm. I think it's in one of these two. Let's take a look in here and see. Did this guy? Hi, remember me? I'm one of Professor Oak's aides. Your Pokedex has completed data on 10 species, it's supposed to give you a reward. Professor Oak entrusted me with HMO5 for you, so let me see. Yep, have you uh, gathered in at least uh, 10 kinds of Pokemon? I have. Great, you have caught or owned 48 kinds of Pokemon. Congrats, here you go. Perfect. Okay. Lights up even the darkest of caves. Splendid. Can I not? What is going on? I was running and I just like overstepped that. think Diglett's cave. Did we ever get a Diglett? We might as well check this. I don't know if Diglett appears in this spot. It might be down below, but I'm going to check this to see. Do we have to go down? Yeah, Diglett doesn't show up here. I don't remember catching a Diglett, so let's see if we can add that to the decks. We did catch one. Lay what? I don't remember. I'm a trainer, okay? Not a memorizer. I don't know what's up here. Okay, let's cut this down. This takes us back to Pewter. Okay, so let's go into Viridian Forest real fast and grab a couple of bugs. I don't think I caught those. I can't imagine that I did. I didn't really have any need for them. I'm not a really... I'm not a big bug Pokemon type fan. I like Scyther and Scizor, and that's pretty much the extent of my bug love. Okay, we never caught a Weedle. Let's knock that out real fast. Even with an Ultra Bolt level 4, I still do up and B just because I want to be on the safe side. You know what I mean? Weedle was caught. Weedle. Harry Pokemon? Harry Pokemon. Harry. Often found in forests and grasslands, it has a sharp toxic barb of around two inches on top of its head. Harry. What? Okay. Sure, I guess. Caterpie, I know I didn't catch you. We're on a roll right now, though. Bingo, bango. Catching these guys. Walk around a little bit more in the grass here before we move on. I just want to see if there is any other um, bugs that will want to reveal themselves to us. The worm Pokemon. It is covered with a green skin. When it grows, it sheds the skin, covers itself with silk, and becomes a cocoon. Perfect. Did I ever catch a Geo dude? That might be our next stop. Oh! A level 5 broke out of an Ultra Ball? That is frustrating. Okay, right shoot. Let's just zap this thing. What a joke. 95% chance catch rate, I'm guessing. And it just happened to roll that 5%er. Yeah, get hard for me. Actually, I knew exactly how that sounded when I was saying it, so. Is this freaking for real, dude? I, that's not, how is that possible? understand. 
I don't understand. How is a level five Kakuna breaking out of a Pokeball? I've caught level 20s. We caught a Poliwag. What's so special about this thing? I don't get it. I have no idea how. Okay, we're done with this. We're done with this. I'm over it. This thing just got so hard for me, all of a sudden I just can't catch it with my balls. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> oh, couldn't help it. Yeah, good night. Dirty bug. I just feel like, you know what, if you're knocking him out, it's an unconscious Pokemon right there. Catch it. That Kakuna really irritated me. Ugh, fine. Let's go. I don't deal with this anymore. Okay, we're gonna go to Cinnabar Island. Nope. Buy a bunch of more Pokeballs. Ultra Balls, rather. We're gonna go to the mansion, buy a, uh, pick up a coughing. I can't believe that happened. I can't believe that freaking happened. It's so annoying. Actually, you know what? We can probably knock one out right now, too. Oops. Okay, Kabutops. Useful. Are you kidding me? Who, who cares? Okay, what do we got here? Arena that never evolved. He was pretty close, though. The other Snorlax. We did get Electro. We did get a Geo, dude. Now here's the hard part. I have to decide now what I want to do with my EV. What stones do we have? We should all have all of them. Water and Leaf. I don't have Fire and a Thunder. Fire would have been the most beneficial only because he's so powerful, but I'm not going to use him on my team. I'm going to go with Thunder. mansion now I think can I get like the aerodactyl fossil over in pewter I might need to do that too right yeah we're in the mansion okay I thought it was a lab for a second we should at least be able to run into a coughing here eradicate I'll take that instead okay well now I'm using another wave and he's already paralyzed. Okay, so for whatever reason, we could not get our hands on a freaking Kakuna. But we'll go ahead and throw an Ultra Ball here on a paralyzed Raticate and see if we can capture this thing. He might break out. Yeah, I figured. Nice. I don't know if we can do any damage here without knocking it out. Oh my goodness, thank you. Okay, now you're mine. You dirty, disgusting, filthy, ugly, nasty rat Pokemon that I just... Uh, uh. Nope. Perfect. Chugging along. Nasty rat Pokemon. 
mouse, then why is it called Raticate? Well, I guess Rattata as well. Its rear feet have three toes each. They are webbed, enabling it to swim across rivers. Fascinating. I do want to see if we can grab a coughing real fast before we dip out of here. Rattata. It, actually, you know what? Coughing might be on the next level. We're going to go up there real fast. Same thing. Thunder wave it. Is quick attack affected by that? No, we should still be able to hit him. Really? It is. Okay. Well, good to know. So glad that worked out. All right, bag it up. Ultra Bowel. We're on the road here. We will get to 60 very fast at this rate. Did we see a wild Vulpix here? I don't remember. I thought Vulpix might have been a, uh, a blue slash leaf green exclusive. Coughing, the poison Pokemon. Its thin balloon-like body is inflated by horribly toxic gases. It reeks when it is nearby. Huh, I didn't realize it was like a balloon. I guess that makes sense. I never really thought about it before. Okay, let's get out of here. I'm not sure if we'd get a polywag just off the coast of Cinnabar, but we'll try for something else. Let's see what else is there. Oh, because I'm in front of the rock. Hey, a horsey. Spectacular. Okay, it's a low enough level. I don't think we have to worry about uh, doing any damage to it, but Thunder Wave will go ahead and lock it down. Is out of the Pokedex. The Dragon Pokemon, which I find to be very interesting that it's called that. It maintains balance using its tail, which is wound up like a coil. It may spray ink from its mouth. Yep, just like all dragons. Okay, so what are we at now? We're getting closer. 54, six more Pokemon. Let's see if there's any other water types here that we can grab real fast. I'll take a Goldie and I'll take a Sea King. Star you if possible. I'm not sure what's exclusive here, but what you got for me? Whoa! We already have one of these anyway. Could you imagine catching one of these on the freaking hook? I'd be like, oh lord. Just because I'm a badass, I'm gonna go ahead and smash it down. It's weak anyway. Freaking Gyarados. God, I would not want to be swimming in the waters there. Put your feet in, dip it in off the side, chilling while it's in our island. Hey, baby, hand me a Mai Tai. And then, bam, a Gyarados just rips you under, this, under the torrent. Horrible. Horrible way to go. Okay, what do we got now? Buddy. I already just took out, took out your husband. Get out of here. Come on, just give me something else. Although, I could probably switch to a good rod. I might do that in a second. And see if that mixes it up. Let's try this. Let's go to the bag. Let's try the good rod now. And see if that gives me something other than a Gyarados. Ah, damn it. Alright. Oh, level 9 one. The level's lower. 
Okay, where can I go to get some Pokemon that I don't already have? Uh, let's go ahead and reevaluate re rather where we're going. Um, you know, Seafoam Islands might have a few ice type Pokemon. We can't fly there though, never mind. Safari Zone, Vermilion City, Saffron, Lavender Town, the Power Plant, Rock Tunnel has Zubat. Let's pop in there real fast and see if we can grab a Zubat. We already got Onyx and Geodude, so we're not going to really do anything from that point. Why would you ask me if I want to use Cut? Just let me use it. Like, what difference does it make? Like, I don't, I don't know why you'd ask me to use it. Just cut the tree down. There's no harm if we do it. And it's definitely faster than asking me and made, wait, making me go through all those animations. You know what I mean? It just seems like, just do it. Just cut that stuff, you know what I mean? Come on, Zubat, where you at, son? Come on, Zubat. We complain about you so much in Rock Tunnel, and then all of a sudden now I want you and you're not showing up. Right here, give it to me. Okay, we're leaving. Okay, let's go take a look at the grass just north of here and see if there's anything useful there. We could also use a super rod up there and see if there's anything we can catch that we haven't already. Spiro, we don't have that. Excellent. Okay, Thunder Wave you just for good measure. Oh, we also saw Spiro earlier, didn't we? Or, uh, Firo, rather. Where was that at? Okay, I think that was at the entrance of the... Victory Road, right? You can probably go there and grab one of those. What do we need? Six more? Five more after this? I know Electabuzz is down there in the power plant, but the problem is it has a 5% chance of appearing, and I just don't want to deal with it. Spiro was caught. Tiny Pokemon. It busily flits around here and there. Even if it is frail, it can move it. A, a, it can be a tough foe that uses Mirror Move. What a very uninspired Pokedex entry for that. Was there an Ekans, or that might be an exclusive? I don't remember. Let's see. What else is around here? Might need to pop into the Safari Zone and grab some stuff from there, too, if possible. Okay, I'm just... I'm over. I'm over it, Spiro. I'm over you. What is your problem? Get out of here. Killing me. I need the female Nidoran. Where can I find that? You know what? Whatever. Let's just get out of here. We're going to go to Fuchsia and finish off what we need to grab. We're just going to catch every little chunker that we can the safari zone if we got a chance at a chancy no oh, double entendre intended there if we get a chance at one of those if we get a chance at a scyther i don't want to miss that Welcome to the Safari Zone. For just 500, you can play the Safari game. Yep, I'm down. If I just give you $5,000, will you just leave me alone so I can go run around in there for a really long time? Okay, what do we got here? Parasect. We don't have one of those yet. Throw some food. Ugh, whatever. Did we ever? 
ever get one of these guys? We did not. Bait. Up and B. You know how it is. Oh, come on. Why do you gotta make these Pokemon so hard to catch? It's a freaking exec execute. This is going poorly. <laughs> Not going very well. Okay, but there's at least two Pokemon here that we can run into that we want. Here, we already got you, of course. I wonder, I guess now that I think about it, you can, you can encounter Shinies in here too, can't you? God, imagine running into a shiny Chansey in here, or Kangaskhan or something like that, and you couldn't catch it. God, it'd be livid. Throw a rock at it. Kill it. Gotcha. There we go. Okay. Making some progress there. Egg Pokemon. Even though it appears to be eggs of some sort, it was discovered to be a life form, more like plant seeds. Oh. I had no idea, actually. That's quite interesting. That's a very interesting bit of detail. Already have you. Where's your female counterpart? Hook it up. Hook it up. Don't have that yet. Ah, oops, I should probably should have thrown a rock. Yeah, of course, let me catch this one because it's a loser Pokemon that nobody wants. Alright, Beninat. Insect Pokemon. Its eyes act as radar, enabling it to be active in darkness. The eyes can also shoot powerful beams. Now we're, we're good, man. I'm fine. Come on, give me a lady, a lady Nitto. Come on, get there. Let's see if we can move on to the next area. The only thing it's, uh, that I have come across that we're unable to catch yet is Parasect. Does, the, does this grass patch make a difference? I'm assuming no. Oh, Lord. All right, this is a very small chance I'm going to throw a rock and hopefully it doesn't run. Son of a... Should have just thrown a ball. Damn! Okay, so Scyther can appear in this one patch of grass. I did not know this. That's annoying, dude. I would have I would have grabbed that Scyther and put him in my party. Although, you know what? He's got some similar qualities to Kabutops, but Kabutops has water moves that he can learn, too. Level 31. Scyther only has the bug-type moves. It doesn't really do much good. I can't teach it surf and all that. Curious. You can essentially catch endless amounts of Pokemon this way because you're not running into different steps, you know? Goldeen. Does it change it? Oh, it doesn't change the circumstances. Because I figure, you know what, if you're, if the timer is set on how many steps that you take... Oh, I should have done that. Oh well. If the timer is set on how many steps you take, you just fish and just get all the water Pokemon you want. And don't tell you're out of balls, I guess. Awesome.
Goldeen. Goldfish Pokemon. Its dorsal and pectoral fins are strongly developed like muscles. It can swim at a speed of five knots. Damn. Okay, what are we at? I know we're not quite at 60, but we're close. Nope. Ah, damn it. Okay, let's see what else. If it's something different, we'll go for it. Psyduck. All right, I'm good with this. Although we had probably another option to catch a Psyduck over in Seafoam Islands, Islands, I think. Yeah, whatever. I should have thrown a rock at this thing. Oh, we didn't get captured? Here, have a rock. Seems like that's animal cruelty, throwing rocks at animals. Oh, come on with that. Scummy. Have another rock. Or, damn it, I always button mash and then throw another ball. Ah, I hate that noise. Okay, so what are we at? Pokedex, we are at 58. We're close. I'm gonna go for that Psyduck again, though. We'll be able to catch one for sure. Ah, Sea King. That makes things easier. Rock. Give us a Psyduck or a Scyther, and I'm cool. Sea King, the goldfish Pokemon. The horn on its head is sharp like a drill. It bores a hole in a boulder to make its nest. Okay. Sea King is one of the very few Pokemon that doesn't actually look like a Pokemon. It could actually just be like a real animal. Let's try this again. A nugget, very good. It's like what, 5,000 money? We can run from this worried about it. Holy snaps. I thought it was shiny for a second because of that color. I'm just going to throw a ball. I don't really know what's going to happen. I will take the freaking Dratini. Hell yeah. It'll break out though. Oh, we got it. Excellent. We got a freaking Dratini, hell yeah. Even the young can exceed 6.5 feet in length. It grows larger by repeatedly shedding skin. Dragon Pokemon. Super cool, that's a rare one. That's a very rare one. Excellent work, okay. Um, so now I think we're at 60, right? Let's get the heck out of here. Can I just fly out? Let's go back to Pallet. I thought that was palette. All right, peace, everyone. <laughs> the idea of going to the Safari Zone to catch rare Pokemon, catch a little dragon watery snake thing, and then have a shiny legendary flaming bird pop out of your Pokeball and just like whisk away is ridiculous. Ah, good to see you. How is your Pokedex coming along? Hey, let me take a look. The amount of progress you have made on your Pokedex is 137 Pokemon seen and 60 Pokemon owned. My rating? Ho ho! This is turning into quite the respectable Pokedex. Thank you, sir. Ah, now this is excellent. Mark, I have another important favor to ask of you. I need you to listen closely. I was going to say carefully, but closely. Recently, there have been sightings of many rare Pokemon species. I'm talking about Pokemon that have never been seen in Kanto. I would love to go see things for myself, but I'm much too old. Since I can't do it, Mark, I'd like you to go in my place. Hey, I heard that. Gramps, what's with favoring Mark over me all the time? I went and collected more Pokemon and faster, too. You should just let me handle everything. I know, I know. Of course, I need your help, too. Now, I need to see both your Pokedexes. 
Sacrifice your rogue, took both Pokedex units. And that's done. Now these units can record data on a lot more Pokemon. Now, Mark and Gary, this time you really must work toward filling your Pokedexes. I urge you to make them the best and the most complete of all time. Truly, this is a monumentally great undertaking in Pokemon history. Gramps, calm down. Don't get so excited. I'll get the Pokedex completed. Don't you worry about a thing. I think I'll try looking around one island first. Anyways, I'm out of here. Pokemon around the world await for you, Mark. Thanks. And then this lonely Bulbasaur is just chilling here. All right, cool. So we got the National Pokedex. For now, I think what we're going to do uh, is a final touch this video. We're going to go ahead and swing all the way over to Vermilion City, which is here. We can take the Vermilion Port and ride over to One Island and uh, get to cooking. We'll talk to Celio there in the next episode and see what's going on. So I think we should save it for now. We did quite a bit here. Indeed, indeed. Yes. I kind of want to swap out some Pokemon, move some things around. Fly and Surf would be a really great combination to get rid of Moltres and Kabo... No? Yeah, we can get rid of Moltres and Kabutops for Dragonite. And then I can take in something else. Hmm, I don't know. Decisions, decisions. We'll have to worry about that later, though. But, uh, yeah, if I got Routini and leveled them up, it'd be a really, really great team here. But, worry about that later. For now, thank you guys for watching this episode of Pokemon Fire Red. We got the National Pokedex after reaching 60 Pokemon. Small drop in the bucket, I know, but it was enough to uh, get the upgrade. We will continue on with the brand new episode, though, tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, right here on the Market 9 channel. But before you go, hit the like button. Do not forget to subscribe. If you have any feedback for me, leave it in the comments, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Otherwise, I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching this episode and any other episodes you've seen thus far. I always appreciate that. And I will see you next time and we continue on the playthrough of Pokemon Fire Red. All right, guys, that's it for me. Take care, be well, and I'll see you next time and we continue on with Pokemon Fire Red. Later.